Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to rename our images inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. When I am delivering images to clients, I do not like for the images to be some obscure file name or for the images to have gaps in between the numbers. I just wanna keep these file names nice and neat for the client. So when I have finished processing a session, I will press Command A, that's Control A on the PC, in order to select all of the images. And then you can simply press F2 to rename. But if you're not a keyboard shortcut person, that's under Library Rename. Let's drop down on the file naming and you'll notice that you can choose a variety of predefined names for your files. So for instance, you could choose custom name and maybe type in the client last name and you'll see that it will show you an example of what these files would look like. But I wasn't interested in any of the predefined ones so I decided to create my own by choosing edit. I came in to edit and I pressed delete or backspace on my keyboard to clear the box. And then I choose sequence 001 and then insert. Now the reason I choose this is because I can't imagine ever delivering more than 999 photos <laughs> for any type of session. Typically for a portrait session, I'm delivering 30 to 40 and for a wedding, I'm delivering around five to 600. Therefore, 001 works for me. Now before I say done, I am going to save this as a new preset and just name it sequence 001 so I know what it is and say done and then I can now choose that from the drop down in the file name and when I say okay and of course you can select your start number Lightroom will rename those images on your hard drive now when I go to export these photos I am not going to choose rename in the export because it's already been done and the reason I point that out is because I typically export my photos a few different times depending on what I'm working on and I wouldn't want to rename them every time I export I hope that you found this useful I'll see you in the next video